Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Dr. Yu YouTube channel. In this video, we will cover the remaining action potentials of the skeletal muscle and the smooth muscles. Well, this video is going to be in English and this is available in Urdu. Well, normally what happens in a cell, normally outside of the cell is supposed to be positive and inside of the cell is supposed to be negative. In case of skeletal muscle, when the stimulus reaches its resting membrane potential that is minus 70, this will be awakened so then what will happen a threshold will reach this awakening and threshold reaching and causation of the depolarization and such kind of inclined depolarization peak is seen due to the opening of the channels noun is fast sodium and leaky potassium channel upshoot of the depolarization peak is a bit inclined what is the reason behind the reason behind is the sodium and potassium why as you know we studied in the cardiac cell that the exact right straight up shooting was due to the opening of fast sodium channel and here the shooting the depolarization up shoot is a bit inclined means it is a bit moved to a side it is not straight the reason is that that potassium channels are also available it is going to be depolarized the cell and potassium is trying to repolarize but here the channel is fast of the sodium and leaky is potassium so potassium you can say it is slow and sodium is very fast that's why sodium will succeed in the causing the depolarization of the membrane and if it reaches the peak 0 or plus 20 again then its action will be lost you can say the sodium channels and potassium channels will be closed and here, due to their action, the fast potassium channels in the second step, they will open. And the opening of fast potassium channels, you know, potassium is responsible to move. Uh, potassium channels are responsible to take the potassium out from the cell. So then again, the cell will become negative. So when positive is moving out from the cell, so you know, positivity is going to decrease due to the decrease in positivity inside the cell there will be a kind of increase in the negativity so which will cause the membrane to again to go to move towards the resting position or to be repolarized so this repolarization is caused by the fast potassium channels and as it reaches up to minus 50 or 60 and you can say as if it reached the minus uh, 70 so in the meanwhile there will be the opening of the uh, in the third step there will be the opening of the sodium potassium pump and you know these pump are responsible to maintain uh, an exact amount outside and inside the cell of the sodium and potassium so what will happen a normal concentration gradient will be appear will appear like outside will become positive and inside will become negative so the cell will go into a resting membrane potential and uh, like this it will be ready for the next potential again so coming towards the smooth muscles action potential again the case is same here positive ions will move inside then it will cause depolarization but this smooth muscles they will undergo undergo the depolarization due to the sodium and calcium ions and here again you can see that they here the the uh, up shooting or the depolarization peak is a bit moved to a side here the reason is because the sodium channels are slow and calcium channels are also slow both are moving from outside to inside the cell both are causing the positive influx again the question arises here that if sodium is also moving and calcium is also moving both are positive and then it must go straight enough more is like cardiac cell but why its peak is a bit bent towards side or inclined like means its depolarization peak is inclined like the reason is that the sodium channels are very slow so calcium are also slow and calcium channels we have not studied we have studied that and they are very slow or weak in action due to which will happen both collectively they will cause a depolarization and but that will not be straight that will be a little bit inclined so that's the reason behind that this is the inclined depolarization so as uh, the depolarization peak reaches the positive 20 or 0 then uh, it will uh, these uh, channels of sodium and calcium they will be uh, will be closed or will become closed and uh, again due to them a kind of uh, calcium channels 
will remain open again. And those calcium channels are again slow calcium channels in the second step. So these are slow. I told you before now their action is very weak. They also want to do the depolarization, but they are weak. So due to which they will just give a kind of play to not a complete up shooting, just a kind of play to because they are weak channels. And what will happen due to the slow calcium channels when they come reach here at this point, they will again they will become close or their action is lost. You can say they're not that much. Uh, they're not having that much or that enough strength to cause further delay. So they will come to this point and their action is lost. The next activated uh, channels will be the fast potassium channels on, in third step. Those fast potassium channels, you know, as they open, they will move. The, they will allow the positive uh, potassium ions to move outside the cell. And you know, as positivity is moving outside the cell, there will be negativity creation. So you can say a negative ions creation will increase inside the cell. When the cell becomes the negative inside, so it will go in the process of a repolarization. So this, this is now fast potassium channel, so this, which will cause a down shoot and a straight fast shooting of the uh, uh, a kind of peak. So this is called downward movement of this peak from upward to downward. This will be just because of the fast potassium channels. So fast potassium channel will bring it to a nearly uh, can you can say resting membrane potential and when it reaches to up to minus 60 here we have got two types of channels sodium potassium pump and uh, not channels pump sodium potassium pump and calcium sodium pump first of all the calcium sodium pump will open then the sodium potassium pump will open now what is the difference between these two numbers reason behind is that you know will sodium and calcium were responsible to cause the depolarization and they were now they are now accumulated here they started accumulation accumulating inside the cell so now inside the cell there is a, an enough concentration of sodium and calcium because they caused the depolarization so now we want to move these sodium and calcium out from the cell in order to make the cell stable again or to bring the cell in resting membrane so what will happen the calcium ion and the sodium ion channel they will open and this channel will cause the efflux of the calcium means this channel will throw the calcium out and the sodium in so now again you will be thinking that if sodium is moving inside it should cause again it should cause again the depolarization but no why because these channels were slow and weak and their concentration is very slow weak now and very less now what happens next is that is this less concentration enters the cell again so for them we have the next uh, category of pumps known as sodium potassium pumps these pumps will cause the movement of sodium out and potassium in from the cell so again the remaining potassium that entered the sodium that entered the cell by means of this pump those uh, uh, by means of the sodium potassium pump so the calcium uh, sorry the sodium will move out and the potassium will move in by means of pump. Now, don't mix this with the channel. Channel is responsible to allow outflow of potassium, but this is the pump which is responsible to maintain a level. So, this pump is responsible to pump sodium out from the cell, potassium into the cell. Like this, uh, what will you do? They will try to maintain a stable state. So, like this, two ions. Calcium and sodium will be calcium and sodium calcium and sodium in this pump calcium will be moved out in this pump sodium will be moved out So now both the calcium and sodium are moving out So due to which what will happen the inside of the cell will become negative 